Alrighty, I have been in my office editing the Colorado fly fishing video for like the last 48 hours and uh, I needed to get out here. We have some, it's hot today, but we have some decent weather. There's a storm coming in tonight. Um, it looks like it's going to rain all weekend. So I wanted to sneak out to the river today for some hopper fishing. I fished this spot before, great hopper location. I walked around and I saw a bunch of green and yellow hoppers. So I'm going to start with this little guy right here. And I'm just going to fish a hopper at first. Um, as we get going, I'll maybe tie on a dropper, maybe tie on a, um, like a parachute ant or something. But uh, I'm just going to start with this for now. I'm going to finish getting my gear on, getting rigged up, and then I'm going to get in the stream. Whoa. Ooh, little firecracker here. Real little guy. Came up and hammered it though. Another little guy, maybe only six inches. Oh. oh, that was a cat. I don't know if the camera picked it up or not, but I caught two, caught those first two little guys right here in this run. And then I finally landed the perfect cast along that bank, that undercut up there. Sure enough, what looked to be a bigger fish came up and hit my hopper. It's really hard to track without that foam on top, and it's not not floating all that well. I think that was a nicer fish, so I'm going to quickly retie before I get into this nice corner here. And then, uh, hopefully, I'm still on the hunt for like a nice big buck nasty brown. I haven't got one on a dry yet. Well, I got one on during the hex hatch on a dry, but that was at night, and that's kind of anomaly. I'd love to get one on a hopper, so that's what I'm after today. This creek is just loaded with fish, uh, big and small. I've seen some big ones in here. I've missed a couple big ones. I've caught a whole bunch of fish. Um, and they're just keyed in on grasshoppers. If you listen, you can hear the grasshoppers everywhere. Um, so I'm hoping to get on one of those big old nasty browns. Oh, that guy caught me off guard. Holy crap. <laughs> a little bit nicer of a fish. Chunky monkey. Oop, there he goes. Probably a 10, 11 inch fish. He uh, caught me off guard big time. A real big boy. Just ate a grasshopper up here in this corner. I'm going to try to move the camera, sneak up on him. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, no! No! You've got to be kidding me, dude. I tied a shitty knot and just lost the best fish of the day. That was a nice fish. Wow, what an idiot. God darn it. You know, the uh, worst part about that whole ordeal is when I tied that knot, I was questioning it. I was like, I don't think that's seated right. And I just left it because I was lazy. 
And it just cost me a nice fish. That was... What an idiot. There's a good knot. I guess I've always been one for uh, learning things the hard way. Frickin' unbelievable, dude. God, that was a nice fish. There he goes. Didn't get a chance to show him, do you? He's probably 12. Decent fish, chunky. Oh, well, I'm pretty frustrated with myself. <laughs> that one fish was nice. That was probably the big one I was after. But good to get that little guy. Sorry, I couldn't show him to you. Um, it's probably a good thing he flopped out. Uh, I had to hold him for a minute to try to get this fly out of his mouth. So, onward. Probably 16 at least. on that fish my finger got all tied up in the slack for a second but I and I lost pressure on the fish but I got it back and he was still there and then he just threw the hook right there I took one more cast out of frustration at another fish strike and I just missed it because I wasn't paying attention but that's frustrating but I need to remember that I come out here to calm down. That's why reason I came out here today. I had a pretty rough day in the real world, and um, in the grand scheme of things, losing a fish isn't <laughs> that big of a deal. So <sighs> let's move on. like a good one. I think uh, he just missed it. I, didn't, I set the hook. I didn't feel anything. Oh, shit. That was a nice one. What is the deal, man? It's like I forgot how to fish. Another nice one. I mean, not huge. Probably only... 12, 14 inches, somewhere in there, but... Ay, ay, ay. Onward. Ooh, the battery says one minute left. I better make this last riffle count. Really wish I had time to tie on a dropper.
Alrighty, not gonna lie, that was a little bit of a uh, challenging sesh. The fish definitely outsmarted me. I caught a couple, couple fish right in a row there in the beginning, and then I had a lot outsmart me. That one man missed a couple really nice fish today. That one that just simply was all on me. Nothing, no excuses. I tied a, a knot. I knew it wasn't seated correctly, and I just was lazy and thought, you know, maybe it would be okay. Sure enough, the next fish I had on was. Probably the biggest fish I've seen out of that creek a really really nice brown um, And he just popped it off no problem because it was a poor knot and then after that I missed a couple more decent fish So that was kind of disappointing, but all in all good time in the water caught a few fish. That's always fun um, Yeah, just wanted to get out for a quick little uh, weekday afternoon hopper session, so uh, make sure if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe follow along um, Hunting seasons about to be here, so I'm gonna try to be pumping out more content um, Yeah, man, I can't wait make sure you tune in follow me on the social media channels. I'll link them below. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one